let's talk about some other types of procedures, like radio frequency. Is that safer? And are all of these non-invasive procedures even worth all of this money in the first place? So I think it's it worked on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, no. I, I mean, sure, we have these devices in the office, and uh, I get on there, but. I follow the guidelines that we just so clearly explained that if, if I'm getting RF, same thing, heating, lifting, we do some vectoring with it. I don't do it too often. I don't too, do too much of it. And I know that that's only part of the equation that, that volume within reason has to also be part of the rejuvenation yeah, process. Yeah, absolutely. And you don't keep doing this. This is not a vitamin treatment. This is not an IV treatment. If people want maintenance, they should do basic maintenance. Other than healthy lifestyle and uh, drinking a lot of water, they could do a little bit of Retin-A, they could do PRP microneedling where you take blood plasma and put it in the face. Those things are healthy. They don't build long-term collagen, but they do give a nice stimulatory effect to the face. All right, great advice. You know, we're gonna sum it up here. Always make sure you're dealing with somebody who's an experienced provider. You know, go to a provider, ask them, what has your, been exper your experience been with ultrasonic treatments? What's been your, your experience with using radio frequency? You need to be an in informed consumer when it comes to off-label uses in particular. Yeah, and I say you really wanna do your research. The easiest research you can do is look at your doctor, look at your <laughs> practitioner, I'm telling you, because doctors are dysmorphic just like patients. You wanna go to someone looks like this. You want to go to like the pretty, You're too kind. delicate. No, but that's what you want. You don't want to go to that practitioner who has this big, wide, fat face and like they look like a gargoyle. And we see our colleagues like that. You don't. We go, go to, to a meeting. Yeah. We haven't seen uh, Dr. Smith in a year or so. We go to the meeting and he looks like a pumpkin. Yeah, because they they no, they wake up. Like, let me check my suit. Let me check my tie. Let me check my face. And the face looks like a beast. And they're okay with it. And then the they wife make, looks like this. Yes. Oh and they make their patients look the same. So that's the number one thing I say look for is look look at your doctor. Great advice. Amen. Well, we reached out to the makers of Ulthera Merce, and the company had this to say about the treatment. The Ultherapy system is available in 76 countries, and when used as directed, is an effective treatment for non-invasive lifting of the brow, chin, and neck. MERS Aesthetic sells Ultherapy systems only to healthcare providers who have the proper state regulatory licensure to treat patients. I think we agree with that. Yes, yeah, so Everybody there's, no up do it, here. there's no do it yourself with Althera, thankfully. There is not. And, and when done properly, you can get good uh, benefits. We also posted a link to Monica's blog on our website, thedoctorstv.com.